Oh, good morning. And I forgot to put the camera on again. Anyway, that was that log. Half of that log. Anyway, what I'm trying to do is copy that one. There's what I'm trying to do, which is going to be good fun. We'll be all right, eh? We'll be all right. About there. Uh, yeah, about that's where that ring is. Right there. That's about where that is. And that's about where the end is, is there. Well, that would be that bit there. Okay. I know that is a bit, still a bit big. So we've got to take a bit off of that. Put some power on. Let's, uh, let's take a little bit off of that. Yeah, that's about in the right position. That looks it. Three eight spindle gauge. What I'm using there. Oh, out of practice, you see. Well, plus I had the tool rest too high as well. Well, I haven't been on the lathe for a while. Out of practice. We can clean that bit off. I need more practice somehow. Horrible cuts. Tell I know it's been on here for a long while.
It's close, it's getting there. It's getting close. I'm a bit too high, perhaps. I don't know, it could be, could be. This down a bit. Yeah, I weren't having a very good day at all, so uh, I did some of it off camera. I'd been away for a while, a bit rusty. Mm -hmm. I have a little rest. Right, let's uh, see what this is like. Where's the pencil on? Right, well. That's not too bad. It looks quite good to me. And you've got a little mark there, so I know where that's got to be. I know that's obviously parted off there. And then down to there, we know that's got to have a mark, a mark there. Looking pretty good. Uh -huh. Right, where's me? So I've got a mark there. And a mark. There. And then all I've got to do is just take that bit out of there. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I suppose I have really. Just take that bit, just that bit there and there. And then we'll put this one in and we've got to turn that bit off. So we can get that colour there, from there to there, and from there to there, and then they should look near enough identical. Hopefully. Yeah. Alright, let's see if I can get this. Looks pretty good. rough but to uh, get some sandpaper on it but I think that'll be okay 
Stage would be to drill a hole in it, I suppose, and do the end. Right, um, let's see if I can give you another shot somewhere. Try that one. That's better. Have a look at that. Yeah, really, really. Take that bit out. That's near enough it. Okay, just got to drill it out. Right, so slow the speed down to about 650. Right, so uh, let's see that bit done. Drilled the hole, just take, just rounded that off a bit there, which isn't too far out of that. Let's be pencil. Okay, so a bit of sand in to do with the looks of it. Right. So just the same, as I said, same need to do, but I'm knackered. Done this little bit here and I'm knackered. So uh, we'll have a go at that in the morning. Right, I'll uh, bring you back when I've done all the sanding then. Right, so it's all sanded up. Um, that part, that's all done up to 240 grip. That part is done up to 600. Because obviously that is the part that's going to be painted, but we'll uh, get some sanding sealer put on it and see what happens. Right, I've just got to part this off a little bit, so I've moved it out a little bit because it's a bit too close to the chuck, so I want to be about there. Open out. <clears throat> Let's 
that's it. Yeah, I don't think that'd be all right there, actually. That'd be... Uh, I'm sure I put it back. I think that'd be all right. Okay. Take that out of the way. Out of the way. That out of the way. Hopefully. Should be all right. All the work's done on it anyway. That Right, so I've just got to have a word with Mr. Walt now and get some advice on how to put the masking tape on. <laughs> ah, right, time for a coffee. Right, well, change the cameras over. Let's uh, try that one. Uh, you can see a little bit more over there, then. Focus all right? Yeah, looks like it. Right, see if we can get some masking tape put on then. Right, that's some masking tape on. Uh, see how much black I've got. I don't know if I've got a lot of this left. get on I suppose right let that dry uh, give it two hopefully we've got enough of that to do the other one as well who knows Well, let that dry off and come back to you when I'm going to do the next coat. Right. Yeah, that's, that's dry. We'll give that another coat. And we let that dry. Down up there. I don't think we've got a lot of lacquer left in there. But... So we we'll let that dry off, and then uh, we'll put the finish on it. Might have got a little bit of a run in that, but. Uh, I won't show underneath the other bits I'm going to do. Okay, let it dry. And we'll come back. Alright, so that's um, it's nice and dry now. That I've got my little tray there. So what I'll do is I'll put some flow medium in three of them. few drips, few drips in that one, few drips in that one, right, so that should be all I need with that, put that back, Ooh. right, so we're going to go for the same colours, so we go for a bit of gold, not a lot, don't need a lot, right, we'll go for the green, that's it, as I say, you don't need a lot, and what's that one, violet, that's it, the violet, right. okay, so we'll give them a uh, little stir up, And what's that one? That's a good, that's a greeny colour one. Isn't it? And then you've got the gold. 
Okay, so we'll do the same as we did before. Green. <coughs> we don't need a lot of it, as I say, but probably mixed up too much again, knowing me. Right, and then onto the gold the gold the green right let's see what we get with that so we've got a bit of bubble wrap and just all we want to do is just tap it on to get it mixed in a bit. Try and get it to look something like the other one I've done. Oh, they've got another one. I've got to copy this onto that, but that's not going to be easy, is it? Right, let's see what that dries like, I suppose. Hopefully it should dry something along them lines. But if not, the other one will be the same, won't it? Right, we'll let that dry. Well, it's drying off quite nicely. Just to leave it an hour or so, I think, and uh, then put a coat of uh, lacquer over the top of it. So, yeah, you've got the greens and you've got the gold. Yeah, all the different colours there. So hopefully, I can do the other one the same, and then everybody, everybody will be happy. Hopefully. That's dried off now quite nicely. See if I've got enough of this left. I don't think we're going to have somehow. No. Might get enough for another coat on it. Hopefully. But yeah, you can see what it looks like. Look. All the different colours of the rainbow there. Golds, greens. The other colour I use violet, I think. Yeah, so yeah, it's not too bad. If I can get the other one the same, I'll be really happy. Right, let's dry it, let it dry. What we'll do is, uh, when it is dry, we just got to do from there to there, which we do like Yorkshire grit and uh, just normal finish, and a bit on this end. 
Right, see if I can give it a bit more. There's hopefully a lot left in this. Oh, I think it's empty. Oh, I have to get another one to do the other one, won't I? Anyway, I think that's it. Where'd that come from? Oh, that was that one there. Okay. Well, I'll let that dry off. Get the tape off it. So that don't stick to it. And then we can leave it till... Uh, Monday, I suppose. Well, no. Hospital Monday. Tuesday? That, oh, no. Hospital Tuesday. Um, well, I don't know. Be sometime anyway. Sometimes before, sometime before I actually go into hospital. Okay. That's uh, oh, I'm puffed now. Um, right, so we we let that dry off. Now I've got the tape off. We just sand a little bit around here, it's just to get a nice line. And also in here. You see where it's a bit jaggedy, so we'll get the point in tool and just get a nice straight line there, and then it should look quite nice. See you later. Right, so uh, let me get the right cameras on. Right. There you go. Now I've cleaned that up around that ridge there and I've cleaned up in there so it's a nice straight nice straight lines. So all I've got to do with it now is Yorkshire grit there, this part and put some finish on it without trying to get any Yorkshire grit on that of course. Wax I can get on it, but not Yorkshire grit. So that's my next stage. Right, so I'm uh, running the lathe about 400. Just working the uh, Yorkshire grit in. As you do. A little bit on this edge here. Yeah. We'll probably get a little bit on there, but it's not going to matter too much. A little bit in that hole. It was a hot day today. Right, we take the speed up. It's about a thousand. Clean it off.
Well, I'll finish getting that off and come back to you when I've got some wax on it. Well, like I said, <coughs> one coat of um, Hampshire Sheen gloss on wax on it. Do the inside there a bit. It's about running about a thousand revs per minute. Right, let's see what that's like. <coughs> and we'll put a coat of microcrystalline on it. Oh yeah, that'd be alright. And then I'll bring you back when I've got to polish that off. So we'll let the microcrystalline dry for 10 minutes. Right, let's uh, buff this off. Uh, clean bit of paper. Inside there. There we go, I think that's it. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, that's all right. Yeah, it's lovely. Not too bad at all. I'm liking this bit. All the different the different colours in it. Lovely that. Right, so that's uh, ready to be partied off. It won't be today because I've got to go to Gatwick and pick the uh, other half up. Um, all we've got to do is part that off and then when I'm on next time, what we'll do is we'll put this in the chuck with tail stocks support there and what we'll do is take this down put the, a groove there groove there and do that the same as that hopefully okay dirty viper now okay well morning uh, it's been about a week now uh, what with hospital visits and x-rays and blood tests talking to surgeons and, and anyway less of that let's get back to this so we've, we've finished that part off uh, so all we've got to do is part that off um, get some power on. Is it moved? No, it's looking good. Uh, put that up to a reasonable figure and see if we can part this off without hitting the chuck, of course. 
do want to do that so we've got a thumb a bit of sandpaper around that Polish that bit off when we do the bottom. Cut the release cut on it here. got to do is clean the bottom off in it. So stand that there in it. Stand there and don't fall over. I'll put it over there. I'm about to drop it somewhere. I think that needs a bit of a touch up but right we'll uh, set it up so I can sand the bottom off. Right we'll sand the bottom off then. So I've sanded it, put some uh, sanding sealer on it, and uh, a bit of Hampshire Sheen wax on it, and I just so the bottom looks a little bit tidier anyway. Anyway, that's that one there. Right, Let's see what we can do here then. See if we can get this bit off. Right, let's have a look, see what shape we've got as opposed to the other one. Uh -huh, it's about there. The sun's coming around. I don't think that's too far out. Need a bit more on that there. Yeah. Uh, try the bigger one. Try a ball gouge on it.
think that's nearly there. I think it's far out. Yeah, I think it's alright. Not too bad. Shape wise, I don't think. Put that there. Yeah, that's pretty good. So, let's get that sanded up. Already got the groove there, and I have got a little bit, probably a little bit more there than that, but uh, I don't think you see that that much. Right, do some sanding on it. Right, I've done the 120, the 180. Right, um, so that bit sanded 240, so I'll Yorkshire grit that bit, um, put some sanding sealer on it, on there, yeah, sanding sealer, that bit will be Yorkshire gritted and polished, this bit, well, we'll do the same, there's the last one, okay, we'll put some sanding sealer on that. Yeah. Right, so that's had the uh, sanding sealer on it. Now, you won't worry about this bit. Um, just concentrate on that bit, so I have to get it taped up now. Right, so that's. Um, <coughs> That's all taped up. Now it's time to put the black on. I think that's all right. It looks as if it's tucked in there, all right. Hard to tell, I know, but anyway, put a coat of black on it. Well, you've uh, seen all this bit once when I've done the first one, so uh, I'll skip through this bit. Right, so, okay, black's dry. I've put the flow medium in, I've put the three colours like I've got on the other, in the other um, little vase. So, give these a mix up and see if we can achieve the same type of uh, pattern or colouring even right so just go around it like that as we know right we'll um, let that dry off um, because I've got to wait for the lacquer, it should be here today. But yeah, that's not too bad. I don't think looking at both of them together. Yeah, I think that'd be fine. Okay. I'll bring you back when we're going to lacquer it. When I've got it, of course. Right, I mean, I've got some lacquer. No ball in the tin, as you know, on some of these now. Right. That's one coat. Let it dry. I'll probably do a couple of coats and uh, bring you back. Or else, I want to sit there watching paint dry or lacquer dry, as they say.
Well, I think we can take the tape off now. Yeah. I can find the end of it. Well, I'm just rubbing the Yorkshire grit in. I can't feel any grittiness left. Okay. Lid on. I turn the speed up a bit. That should be all right. We'll put some uh, Hampshire Sheen gloss on it. Um, yeah, Hampshire Sheen gloss, and then some microcrystalline. Right, that's had uh, two coats of uh, Hampshire Sheen gloss, so I'm going to put some uh, microcrystalline on it. And uh, then we'll leave it for 10 minutes or so to uh, to go off. See it. <clears throat> right, so oh, polish this off. Buff it off, I should say. That's the correct, correct term, isn't it? Buff. Right. right, polish it off then. I think that should be it. Hopefully. Oh yeah, that's all right, isn't it? I think that'll be all right. There you go. That's 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 the pair. Yeah. So. Let's put them on here. See if we can change the camera on them. Let's have a look. Well, you got both of them. Oh, I think they look quite smart. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry about the noisy neighbours in the background. Yeah. <laughs> so. It's, uh, Come back to uh, about the right one, and there, there you have them. It's a pair of them. It's uh, quite nice. I hope the lady liked them as much as I have enjoyed ma uh, making. Till next time. Take care, everybody. Ta-ta for now. Ah, there you go.